Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because this is the first of a series of uh, kind of like fitness, Wing Chun fitness related uh, videos where I'll be sharing with you the type of exercises and strategies that I use to level up my Wing Chun and just take it to that next level where you combine proper form, proper technique with resistance training. So I'm shooting this from my home gym and I hope this video will be the first from many others to come. If you do enjoy this fitness type of Wing Chun related content, please let us know, comment below, so that way I can put more out there for you. If you're new to the channel, here I upload on a weekly basis Wing Chun related content, how-to, tutorials, demos, and also my Wing Chun by Design podcast. So if you're new, you may want to consider subscribing so that way you can keep up to date with all the different content that I'm uploading. All right guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so today's video will involve me showing you one of the exercises that I do to just take my lap sal to the next level. So the lap sal, if you're a Wing Chun practitioner, you'll know that it's the pulling hand. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of pulling just with the hand or the arm, but if you want to get a really strong and effective lap sal, you need to connect your horse, your base, to your hips, to your shoulders, to your arm. So that way when you're pulling, you're not pulling just with the hand or the arm, you're pulling with the whole body. So one of the exercises that I do is the cable. So first is first, you want to sit solid on your base, on your horse, right? You don't want to use an extremely heavy load because once again, it's all about the connection, not just trying to, you know, pull the heavy weight and move the weight around. You want to just try and find the right connection. So when you sit on your horse, make sure it's nice and strong and solid so that way you're gripping your legs, you're gripping your stance, and you want to find the right position for your arm to be in. So I wouldn't start with the arm completely straight and locked and much less the elbow too close to your hips or your ribs. So somewhere where roughly you would be trapping, okay? You would be grabbing, pulling, and then executing the technique. So then I would start from about here. Then when you start pulling, you want to pull and engage your hips, okay? As you pull, you want to make sure that your shoulders are leveled meaning not having one side or the other down. So then when you pull, you want to connect and pull using your hips and then the shoulder, right? So as you pull, sit and grip, sit and grip. And then if you want, you can start instinctively using your other arm because at the end of the day, that's the one that you're gonna be using to, to strike with, right? So then you would go one, hold and back, two, hold and back, three, hold and back. And you'll notice that where I'm pulling is just basically having the hand close to my hip. I don't want to go too far back. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then of course you do the same thing on the opposite side. Now, any time you're working on any given technique like this, you want to do two warm-up sets. Now, the warm-up sets, of course, I will start with a lighter load, and I would do that for about 15 reps, both sides, of course. And then once you've done your two warm-up sets, then you can put your working load, okay? And then once again, I would go roughly between 15 and 20 reps. So then that will help you get that pulling motion from your hips, right, on both sides, standing firm on your stance, and then of course you do the other side, same thing. So guys, just in case you don't have access to a cable machine, don't let that stop you. Just get a cheap resistance band, and you can work on exactly the same exercise with it. Now there are bands out there with different resistance uh, levels, so you can get one that works best for you, and then just wrap it around something solid, that could be a post, a tree, you can work it out. The height, you want it to be basically face height, okay? And then according to the level of resistance that you need is whether you start from back here or a little bit closer. So then what you can do is just wrap it, 
sit on your horse and then just pull and do exactly the same movement, right? Same thing. Now, one thing though, once you pull, don't let the band take over, meaning don't pull and then kind of let it just, you know, go back uh, without having you control the band, all right? So don't have the band control you, you control it. So that way you're working on your core and your horse as you pull, all right? So the arm is in a fixed position, okay? So there's an alternative for you to work on the same exercise with a band. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you like the tips so that way you can start incorporating strength training to your Wing Chun arsenal. Okay, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Check out also my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. I have a free introductory applied Wing Chun course there, which you can check out and learn from the videos. So guys, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.